Warning, the following audio is only aimed for beings who are in need for scares and a frightful storytelling. There will be a few disturbing contents and unsettling imagery in this video you are about to watch and or listen. If you feel uncomfortable or this isn't your cup of tea, you may click off immediately. However, to the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop in your headphones. If optional, turn off the lights and enjoy this audio. Candle Cove, created by Chris Straub. In tonight's creepypasta, Princess Thea will be playing the role as Sky Shale 33 Papa Bean as Mike Painter 65, and me as Jaren 2005, and Hanako chan as Kevin Hart. Enjoy! Net Nostalgia Forum, Television Local. Does anyone remember this kid's show? It was called Candle Cove, and I must have been six or seven. I never found reference to it anywhere, so I think it was on a local station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Ironton at that time. I don't remember which station, but I do remember it was on at a weird time, like 4 p.m. It seems really familiar to me. I grew outside of Ashland and was nine years old in 72. Candle Cove. Was it about pirates? I remember a pirate marionette at the mouth of a cave talking to a little girl. Yes! Okay, I'm not crazy. I remember Pirate Percy. I was always kind of scared of him. He looked like he was built from parts of other dolls. Real low budget. His head was an old porcelain baby doll. Looked like an antique that didn't belong on the body. I don't remember what station this was. I don't think it was WTSF though. Sorry to resurrect this old thread. But I know exactly what show you mean, Sky Shale. I think Candle Cove ran for only a couple of months in 71, not 72. I was 12 and I watched it a few times with my brother. It was Channel 58, whatever station that was. My mom would let me switch it after the news. Let me see what I remember. It took place in Candle Cove and it was about a little girl who imagined herself to be friends with pirates. The pirate ship was called the Laughing Stock, and Pirate Percy wasn't a very good pirate because he got scared too easily. And there was Calliope music constantly playing. Don't remember the girl's name. Janice or Jade or something? I think it was Janice. Thank you, Jaren. Memories flooded back when you mentioned the Laughing Stock in Channel 58. I remembered the bow of the ship was a wooden smiling face with a lower jaw submerged. It looked like it was swallowing the sea, and it had that awful Edwin voice and laugh. I especially remember how jarring it was when they switched from the wooden slash plastic model to the foam puppet version of the head that talked. <laughs> I remember now too. Do you remember the part, this part, Sky Shell? You have to go inside. Ugh, Mike, I got a chill reading that. Yes, I remember. That's what the ship always told Percy when there was a spooky place he had to go in. Like a cave or a dark room where the treasure was. And the camera would push in on Laughingstock's face with each pause. You have to go inside. With his two eyes askew and that flopping foam jaw and the fishing line that opened and closed it. Ugh, it just looked so cheap and awful. You guys remember the villain? He had a face that was just a handlebar mustache above really tall, narrow teeth. I honestly, honestly, thought the villain was Pirate Percy. I was about five when the show was on. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. That wasn't the villain, the puppet with the mustache. That was the villain's sidekick, Horace Horrible. He had a monocle too, but it was on top of the mustache. I used to think that meant he had only one eye. But yeah, the villain was another marionette. The skin taker. I can't believe what they let us watch back then. 
Jesus H. Christ, the skin taker. What kind of kid show were we watching? I seriously could not look at the screen when the skin taker showed up. He just descended out of nowhere on his strings, just a dirty skeleton wearing that brown top hat and a cape, and his glass eyes that were too big for his skull. Christ almighty. Wasn't his top hat and cloak all sewn up crazily? Was that supposed to be children's skin? Yeah, I think so. I remember his mouth didn't open and close. His jaw just slid back and forth. I remember the, this little girl said, Why does your mouth move like that? And the skin taker didn't look at the girl, but at the camera, and said, To grind your skin. <sighs> I'm so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. I used to have this awful memory. A bad dream I had where the opening jingle ended, the show faded in from black, and all the characters were there. But the camera was just cutting to each of their faces, and they were just screaming, and the puppets and marionettes were flailing statistically, and just all screaming, screaming. The girl was just moaning and crying like she had been through hours of this. I woke up many times from that nightmare. I used to wet the bed when I had it. I don't think that was a dream. I remember that. I remember that was an episode. No, no, no. Not possible. There was no plot or anything. I mean, literally just standing in place, crying and screaming for the whole show. Maybe I'm just manufacturing the memory because you said that, but I swear to God, I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Oh god, yes. The little girl Janice. I remember seeing her shake, and the skin taker screaming through his gnashing teeth, his jaw careening so wildly, I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I turned it off and it was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother and we didn't have the courage to turn it back on. I visited my mom earlier today at the nursing home. I asked her about when I was a little kid in the early 70s, when I was 8 or 9, if she remembered a kid show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could remember that, and I asked her why, and she said, because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm gonna go watch Candle Cove now, mom. And then you would tune that TV to static and just watch dead air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with that little pirate show.